hello everyone today's topic is a very very sensitive topic a lot of women have come to my inbox asking me at the age of 35 what are the chances of getting pregnant at the age of 40 45 and 50 years what are their chances of getting pregnant easily and if they have decreased number of eggs can they still get pregnant with a decreased number of eggs in their ovaries what can they do in order to get pregnant at that age so don't miss out on this episode this is stop pregnancy with dr Mela, where we tell you all about pregnancy and other women related health issues so if these are the kind of content you like to watch don't miss out on any please click on that subscription button so that you won't miss out on any of this video so let's dive right in one thing i would like every woman to know out there is that take note about this as you advance in age there are two things that decreases first the number of eggs and the quality of the egg now what happens in a woman let's go back and see what happens when any girl is delivered how many eggs does she have she has one to two million eggs every month she loses ten thousand eggs that's before puberty so when she arrives puberty these eggs that were one to two million at birth they tend to be three hundred thousand to four hundred thousand of these eggs please are you listening it means that every month she loses 10 10,000 eggs the next month 20,000 the next month 30,000 so by the time this girl is reaching puberty that 1 million to 2 million eggs is now for 300,000 to 400,000 eggs so imagine how these eggs are dying rapidly and remember this egg is not like they add they add up no once you are born with that number of eggs it doesn't increase it instead tends to decrease and as it is decreasing you have no idea how fast it is decreasing after puberty when you're menstruating that's when you start seeing your menses now you, from puberty you're having one thousand about one thousand eggs dying every month so it reduces rapidly so this is why with age this number tends to decrease one thing you should know is what is the normal age age range for women who are highly fertile you become highly fertile at the age of late teens and late 20s late teens means that it's about 18 19 years old to 29 years old so before 30 years old that is when you are highly fertile and in this case what happens is that one in four women get pregnant during the first try or during one cycle so one in four women but at 30 years old this starts decreasing the rate at which you can get pregnant starts decreasing at the age of 35 it starts it drastically starts decreasing at the age of 45 years old Sometimes they always say it is unlikely for you to get pregnant normally. We know other women can do, but it is always sometimes decreased. That's why here they talk about one woman in every 10 women get pregnant during the one cycle. So you see how your chances have already decreased at the age of 40 or 45 Remember now that as you age as you advance in age your ovaries and your eggs also advance they also age they also wear out so that's why you don't only have a decreased number of eggs but a decreased number in the quality of the eggs there's a high chance of having children with chromosomal abnormalities because your eggs have been exposed to all sorts of diseases environmental factors which has also affected the egg so during division of the egg 
problems can easily occur at that time because they are not strong as they were before. So the quality of the eggs are also affected in this situation. Now there are multiple reasons why women wait to deliver. First, it might be a problem of infertility. Secondly, they might be trying to settle first and have a good job before they tend to have children. They might be going to school and they don't want to have children. Now they tend to delay before having children. So those are the multiple reasons. And also, women know nowadays with the advance in technology, they know there are many options for them to get pregnant. So that's why sometimes women can delay because they know even at advanced age, there are still some technologies in which they can use in order to get pregnant. Now, at this age, at the age of 45, at the age of 50, can you get pregnant normally? Yes, the answer, it is possible. You can get pregnant normally. So far as you are seeing your menses, it means you have a chance, even if it's as tiny as what? You have a chance of getting pregnant normally. Is it possible to safely have a baby at the age of 35 and 40 years? Yes, it is very possible. You can get pregnant and even deliver normally. But any pregnancy above the age of 40 years is a high-risk pregnancy, which needs close follow-up of that pregnancy. Now, how about men? Do men's fertility really decrease in that way? Men's fertility actually decreased to with age because they've been exposed to, to there are other medical conditions in which they can be also exposed to, but it is not as predictable as women because with women they have a particular number of eggs from the beginning and it tends to start decreasing. Okay, now what should a woman do if she is 35 years old, she is 40 years old, she is 45 years old, and wants to get pregnant? What can she do? If you are after 40 years old and you want to get pregnant, you must go to the hospital first before you even think of trying to get pregnant. Why? Because this is a time where it is presumed that your ovarian functions have decreased. So they are going to do you some various tests to see your ovarian reserve, how low it is. They test the follicle stimulating hormone the estrogen and the anti-mullerian hormone. So this anti-mullerian hormone actually tells you the number of eggs that are present in your ovaries. So if you do the anti-mullerian hormone and it is low, then you have a low ovarian reserve. So if you have this result, it means that you have a low ovarian reserve. How can they treat this before you try to get pregnant. The only symptom that these women can have is shortening of their menstrual cycle. You can see somebody who has a 30-day cycle after they discover that they have a 28 days, a 26-day cycle. That is the only symptom that they can see, but nothing else. It's not going to tell you maybe you feel sharp pains that your ovaries are started decreasing. No, no, no. It's not going to tell you about that. So make sure you go and consult, let them check. And now, if you have low ovarian reserve, remember that there are many causes of infertility. So if your own cause is due to low ovarian reserve, then that is when you are given ovarian stimulants. You're given some medications to stimulate the ovaries. So it is not any time that a woman has inability to conceive that she has to stimulate her ovaries. Please let us take note. Now there are some cases, like I said, if you are still menstruating, maybe you have not yet reached menopause. Now the normal age, the average age, WHO says to get into menopause is 45 to 55 years old. So it can even start at 45, then finally stops completely at 55. But women can have menopause as early as 30 years old. So take note about that. 
it's about you going to the hospital let them check what exactly is the cause of your infertility now with age the most common cause of this infertility is low ovarian reserve so what they do is they try to stimulate the ovaries to produce more eggs so once they stimulate this then they can help you with fertilization but now once they have stimulated and they have done one or two times and you're not able to have children then what can they do it means you need to take from another person egg donation and they give you so what is the advice to women who want to delay in having their pregnancies you want to go to school you want to settle down but at the end you want to have children how can we help you there are now high technological methods technology has advanced especially fertility technologies have advanced so you can go and keep your ovaries that's it's just like a sperm bank you can go and you keep your ovaries somewhere when you grow up when you are finished and you want to have your children you go and take that fresh ovaries that you see at your young age with no no fault no problem it is still good the quality is good so you can take those eggs and then they fertilize and put into you and you deliver those are the kind of ways in which you can get pregnant but once you're still seeing your period it's possible for you to get pregnant but after the age of 40 years old and you want to get pregnant you must seek for medical advice i hope this was helpful to you and if you want to have a private consultation with me you can click on the link below and book for a consultation thank you very much and don't forget to share these videos to other women out there because this might be a problem which another person is suffering from so this might just help that patient out there thank you very much and god bless you see you next time